He is the man. He is the myth. He is Simon Jones. He is the man and the myth. Come experience his music. Come experience his life. Simon Jones here. One time. And one time only. Simon Jones, the man who met Satan. Simon Jones, the man you will meet today. We're going to start off this brief session with Simon Jones talking to him right here in person. Now, Simon, we heard you met Satan in 1979. Is this true? Who sent you? No one said me. I'm a documentarist. Yes, I did meet the horrid, holy host of the horrid Nebuchadnezzar world. I did. I met the man you call Satan. So, uh, you are Satan, the man that uh, met Simon Jones, who has changed his life so remarkably in these past few weeks. Well, I guess you could say that. You guess I could say that? Yeah. Well, what, do you, what would you say, Satan? No, I'd say I'm not Satan. <laughs> You're not Satan? Then no. What? My name is really Lewis Sandifer. Lewis, huh? Yeah. Dude met me on the street one day. He thought I was Satan. I don't know why. Just walking down the street, you know, my own business. Actually, I was going to the store to pick me up another six pack. On the street, he introduced himself as Lucifer, and after that, he offered me a six pack. I, it, it, it threw me off because. I had no idea Satan would, would do that at all, but, but he did, he did it. Yes, you are Tracy, right? Um, you were very close to Simon, I understand. Yes, I was married to him at one time. Oh yes, well what has happened since then? Well, he started talking about meeting Satan. And did you believe that he would met Satan? Oh no, I think he was just weird. So, uh, are you still his wife? No. You're not his wife any longer. That no. makes you his ex-wife. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he like, him and his ex and his wife like were having problems, so they had divorces. I don't know. He, he was talking about that. And even one time, you know, I was thinking get a free bound on the rebound, if you know what I mean. It's like, I mean, but, but I, I still don't understand why the guy thought I was Satan? I mean, I told him, hey, look, your name is Lewis Sandifer. He said that you introduced your name as Lucifer and you offered him a beer. Oh. I told him my name was Lewis Sandifer and I told him to to, to keep away from my beer. <laughs> Just, I don't know. I, I really don't let anyone, you know, get, get, have any of my beer. I mean, I keep it all for myself, you know what I mean? It's, it gets expensive. I lost all hope for the youngin when he was biting trees as a child. He was, he was crazy. I, d I don't understand what he was doing. And the next thing I know, he, he loses his hearing. I think it was the boating accident or something, but it might have been the time I slapped him in the head for eating bleach under the sink. But the, the kid was crazy. He had, no, he had no concept of what we call reality. He, the, these major major fantasies first of all there, there were spaceships and hockey pucks flying around I don't know what that was and and then the next thing I hear is this the, these dreams about how he was floating through ribbons and I asked him if they were Christmas ribbon rig, ribbons and he said no they weren't dad they were they were ribbons coming to take him and my mother away I, I, I always like describing my fantasies for people around me. That's probably why my therapist works so well with me. Yes, your father told us you dreamed about spaceships. Do you ever have any uh, alien abductions uh, besides just your know, Satan encounters? No, no, no th those were just fantasies and dreams. I told my father that, but he, he would just hit me. I, he, he, he hit me one time for eating sugar under the sink, and I had no idea what that was about. It, 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 it really hurt me as, as a youngster and, and in my youth. I came with the hard way. My, my ex-wife 
was, was the same way. I, I told her these things and she just wouldn't. You. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. This guy's story is so sad and misunderstood. It's just. Stop that camera! Stop. Uh, sir, what have you actually been doing with your time ever since your, your husband is, uh, has his decline? Well, I've mostly just been keeping myself busy, but it was pretty bad at first. I was upset, but I've kind of gotten used to it. As a matter of fact, I have a date waiting for me after the documentary tonight. Cheese? What can I say? I'm a man of my dreams, and I know what I saw. I lost all hope for the child. But I tell you, when I make a will, he's out of it. No, no Simon in that sucker. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so. Well, I guess I can't say that, you know, I'm happy to have been Satan for a day, you know. Cause how many people can say that, huh? <laughs> say. I know what I saw. And I saw the face of Satan. So when you saw the face of Satan, uh, did he look at all like this person in your dreams that you described? A big bald man with a pentagon on his head, spinning and spinning around wildly. That's exactly what I saw. That's exactly what you saw because the man I interviewed, you see, who you claim was Satan was not like that at all. He just he, he disguised himself. I mean, Satan does not walk on the street a bald man on the pentagram. What are you crazy? God. Well, that's how you described him in your dreams, and I'm a bit confused, sir, to be honest with you. Satan disguised himself, okay? God. What kind of idiot knows that Satan does not walk about the streets bald with a pentagram and say with yellow glowing I'm sorry, eyes. sir. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand your dreams. Could you describe them all to me? Floating, they're waves, colorful, everything. They just, they just flow. Simon Jones, is he a man of his dreams or just a man who's insane? He claims he's a man who's seen Satan. You make your own judgment about Simon Jones. No one knows, only the shadow knows. Signing off for uh, Documentary Films FFFF19er, this is me, Peter Lingo. Good night. <laughs>